Good morning, this is Jeremy with EG Logistics Management. Um, wanted to welcome you to uh, potentially working with my company and give you kind of an overview of how our operational process works and a walkthrough of our carrier rate uh, freight management software system. Um, we do offer freight management services, both full truckload, LTL, partial truckload, intermodal, um, warehousing and fulfillment services in California and New Jersey, uh, Dallas, Texas, Utah, and Missouri area. And we have uh, discounts with FedEx and UPS if you need those as well. So a lot of different services, uh, pretty comprehensive. Um, we've been doing this a long time and uh, we're honored to look at partnering with you. So um, basically what I wanted to do was just kind of give you a little bit of a overview of our overall process and then walk you through our software. Um, so we do have a customer service team that's at your uh, call pretty much 7 to 6 p.m. Um, at service at Easy Logistics Management. Um, and they can answer basically any questions that you would want. Um, they handle more, almost all of the day-to-day -day quoting uh, and dispatching and tracking and tracing and problem solving. Um, so they, they're your go-to team. Um, you can always copy me as well. But um, let's jump into the software just so that you get kind of an overview of how the system works, whether you're driving the orders into the system for your daily uh, booking needs, or whether you're asking my team to do it for you, I think it's important to understand how the software works so that you know the parameters that we're, we're working within and it doesn't get frustrating. As always, we have API automation that will allow you to connect and automate all these modes of service to your e-commerce site, ERP or business software management site, or order management sites, and even accounting software, honestly. So, um, and we have an open API that can be basically connected to anything. So a lot of, if you like our rates and our software and our service, um, everything can be automated, which is pretty cool. Um, as always, if you have any questions outside of the parameters of the software, um, we have for and customer service that are there to help you in any capacity needed at service at Easy Logistics Management. So if you have any questions, comments, or need something traced down or tracked, they're always there to handle it. With that said, um, we're honored to look at partnering with you, and let's jump into training you through the software really quick. Um, if, you, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me as well at Jeremy at Easy Logistics Management. Let's talk about it. All right, now jumping into the software. Um, initially, when you're getting into your account, um, you just go to Easy Logistics Management, go to the login page, so easylogisticsmanagement.com forward slash login, uh, put in your username and password that we've given you. Going to log us into a live account today, just so we get a little bit more ability to play with a live account. So when you log into the home screen, um, obviously you see <clears throat> upwards of your most hundred recent shipments um, in order with bill of lading, uh, pro number as they're issued, PO number if you so input them, pickup date, delivery date, where it's shipped from, where it's going to, um, the carrier, the cost, and then uh, we have this kind of uh, uh, bar, if you will, that tracks its progress from um, pickup to in transit to delivered. Um, and you can kind of see through the shipments or whatever. Um, if you needed something further as far as in transit, depending on the sophistication of the carrier, you can click on this tracking link and it should give you scan by scan from uh, departed to um, arrived at pickup location, um, depending on the access that we have to the carrier. Um, but the bigger carriers offer a lot more uh, information back to us. So um, generally you can get it here. If you need more information, you can always email our team at service at Easy Logistics Management and they can call out to the carrier and get that information from you as well. Um, and then obviously tracking notifications depending on the level of um, information you want, both to your team and your uh, in customer, you can send them tracking links where they'll get uh, an email or a ping every step along the way as it's scanned. Um, so let's go back. So from the home screen, um, you can see all, everything that's scheduled for pickup, in transit, um, any open claims that you have, 
Uh, if you wanted to click on that, you can pull these reports in PDF, CSV, or Excel. Um, review the information here if you wanted to drill into what's going on with each claim. Um, let's see comments, uploaded files, where it's at and status, contact information, all stuff that makes it super simple. Um, uh, let's and if you wanted to reprint the bill of lading or the proof of delivery if we have it uploaded already um, You can pull it from here and obviously all this stuff is is uh, You're able to export it in PDF CSV or Excel as well <clears throat> as far as the main things that you would probably be doing is Looking for a new LTL quote up to 12 linear feet or six standard pallet positions a new truckload quote or an expedited quote or saving uh, any saved quotes if you had quoted and saved uh, a perspective load and you wanted to um, then dispatch and book that load you would head into these saved quotes so um, generally let's go into LTL quote uh, in this example we're using one of our clients uh, which is a hardwood flooring group company out of Oregon Let's say it's going to Denver, Colorado, just to make it easy. Denver, Colorado, we're just gonna pick up. Um, let's, it defaults generally business to business, um, but you can change these parameters, um, put accessorials both on the pickup and the delivery, whether it's lift gates or notify or inside delivery or appointment. Um, it generally defaults to the same day dispatch and pickup, but you can push it out as far as you like. And then it's just on our radar to dispatch as it comes time for that to happen. So if you were taking a vacation or whatever, you could you could schedule out you know, into next week or whatever if you were gonna be gone to make it a little bit easier. Um, so let's say it's business to business, residence or trade show. Um, obviously this will change the rate, but you wanna be as specific as possible and be as specific as possible on where it's going to on the destination end so that the motor is allowed to read correctly. So there's no surprises on the back end. Uh, it'll make you happier too, whether it's a limited access delivery, whether it's a school delivery, a ranch, uh, construction site, things of that nature. Let's just say it's business to business for today. Um, obviously choose your commodity type, whether it's a crate or a standard pallet or a non-standard pallet, just be as specific as you can. We're going to choose standard pallets. Um, in this example, we're going to ship two pallets. <clears throat> um, generally speaking, we will input your class and NMFC codes for everything you're handling. Um, let's say this, all they ship is hardwood flooring, I think, generally. So it auto imports the NMFC, the class code. All you have to do is say, if it's two pallets, let's say it's 100 boxes of wood and the total weight is 3,500 pounds. And then obviously, um, the closer you can, you wanna put in the most correct dimensions on this, um, just so that it's rating correctly. Um, sometimes if it's a non-standard pallet or it's a little bit longer, there will be additional fees. So you just wanna be as specific as possible. If you are shipping two different, um, commodities that run at different classes, you would just add a row and input that information. So basically the total weight and total dimensions uh, of, of every commodity that runs at a different class so that it, it's allowed to run correctly. If you're not totally sure um, about density or if you have density rated items, you can put in the weight, the length, the width, and the height, and it will calculate out the density for you so that you can choose the right density code and class code if that affects your actual freight class, um, just to make it easier. You can also ask us as well, but um, it's built to be self-service and made really easy. So in this example, let's say we're shipping <clears throat> 100 boxes of hardwood flooring at 3,500 pounds. Um, it's not, if it's stackable, you could click this. If it's hazmat, you could click that. Obviously in this case, it's not. Um, we do handle a lot of electric motorcycles, so we do ship a lot of hazardous materials. Um, and then if you do need additional assurance, you basically would just want to put, it defaults to 4,000, but let's say the replacement value on this load is 5,000, um, and it's new product not used. Um, this stuff, extreme length, if you know, generally the cutoff's around 8 feet, 
So if it's over eight feet, you might want to click this button and just put in the length and the number of bundles so that it's rating correctly, but the, the, the software should pick it up and rate it correctly. And I'll show you how to double check if it's actually rating correctly. Um, and then protect from freeze uh, and then a few other exceptions. From there, you just hit select carrier. <clears throat> it will query all the, I think we, it's hundreds if not more LCL carriers that we work with. Um, it defaults to lowest to highest cost, which is generally how most people look at it. But if you wanted to, you could toggle it to the carrier with the lowest percentage of claims, quickest delivery, um, or if you had favorite carriers, you could bring it up that way. But let's leave it here. Um, so you see we have a list of uh, five carriers, or what is it? One, two, three, four, four carriers in this lane from Oregon to Denver. I think uh, not all carriers pick up in this location. It's a little bit farther out in Oregon, I believe. So you see the carrier name, terminal information. Um, so if you were wanting to call the terminal and make sure that this carrier could pick up same day, this is a way for you to be proactive where you could click on the information and actually call the carrier and say, hey, we're booking with Easy Logistics and Global Trans. We wanted to make sure that you could pick up today. It's two o'clock. Just wanted to make sure you could get it off the dock. Um, same goes for the destination terminal if you wanted to, um, to just double check on anything. Uh, carrier performance metrics, uh, if you want to get into that for the last 30 days, and then carrier rules, which might be, and then if you wanted to go further, you could click into their carrier rules tariff, and that would be all their exceptions, all the different things that maybe they do or don't do particularly well. Um, and then whether you need a, in this particular lane, it looks like we only have one guaranteed service level with Old Dominion, and that is <clears throat> by Friday at 5 p.m. For, for, for an extra $430 on this load. Um, other things to understand are carrier max liability if you hover over this. So if, I think in this example, we were saying we needed $5,000 worth of insurance. This carrier will actually, at that weight and class, it will cover up to $7,000 uh, for new material. And I think it's at $1,750 if it's used. Um, and then obviously both your account and our network account of 25,000 or so users, what their claims, free percentages. Um, if you need to modify the declared value for Let's say it went up to 10,000, you could modify that, and that is reflected then both your, the wood itself that we're insuring and the, um, and the return shipment cost, or the, uh, the, the shipment cost itself if we had to ship all new product. Uh, so you see the initial cost, the discount, the insurance of $42, um, and then the total of 702 with insurance. Or if that five thousand or so dollars that the carrier uh, offers for their max liability, you could book at six thirty uh, six hundred and sixty three. If you needed to manipulate any of this, let's say you're sitting on the phone with your client and they say, "Well, what if I what if I bought twice as much wood? How would that affect my cost? Um, you know, per box or per linear foot of wood that I would be buying." Uh, you can modify the orders in here, and you'll see that um, your cost per pound generally goes down. If the more you ship, the less it costs you per pound. If you wanted to, if they said, wait a minute, we need a, we probably would like a lift gate. We don't have a forklift. And you know what? Maybe give us a call before you call, before you bring the load out to us, just so we're aware and we're ready to receive it, and the trucker doesn't have to wait. You can modify all this and modify it back. Um, once you've decided on the carrier that you're going to, if you wanted to just save that quote for that customer, you could hit save quote, put in a reference number so that you could remember it, and then it would be up here in your save quotes. Um, generally, it would probably be the order number or something like that. Um, if all that looks good, hit book with insurance. <clears throat>
put in your company details. Um, generally, we need a two hour window, and most carriers pick up in the afternoon, so let's say two. So if you don't really have a small window of time that you can um, have the carrier come, I would say leave it open till like a half hour before close. Again, um, if you didn't select this pickup date out in the future, it'll default to today. Um, and then let's say it's easy logistics. We're just going to make this up. Um, 22256 Northway, Denver, Colorado. Jeremy Curran. This is all for dem demonstrative purposes. Um, ideally, when. I mean, if you, there's not a narrow window of time that they can deliver, I would just leave it open for most of the day. Maybe let's say 10 o'clock to, you know, 4.30 again, local time, just to give the carrier more more of a window to deliver so that they don't, it doesn't impede them from making that delivery. And then um, <clears throat> one of the more important things is the email notifications. This will simplify your life a lot as far as whether we'll pre-set it up or we can help you pre-set it up to automatically email yourself, your managers, your sales team, or the owner of the company, anybody who wants visibility, or you could set up, generally it seems to make sense to me to make a, a tracking at uh, email address that can be copied on all shipments going out. So they're, so if you want tracking for any particular load, you can always drill into it in the software, but maybe you just want it to go to an email that you can forward to your customers. But for sure, I would always include your customer's email. Um, let's say in this case, it's easy logistics. Let's say it's going to me. Um, and then honestly, I would probably select all so that from dispatch to picked up, out for delivery, delivered and detailed, um, your customer will get a ping on where their load is in transit the whole way along. And then if you want to add more people, you can add as many as you want. Um, and then you're just basically reviewing what the material was again, the shipment details, hardwood flooring, the NMFC code. If all this looks good, hit next. <clears throat> Here are the shipment details, uh, shipment the origin, all the cost breakdown. Um, if you want to put on a customer bill of lading number, a reference number, or a purchase order number, any type of shipping label notes, pickup remarks, delivery remarks. Um, I mean, you could try and put in, you know, call Joe at, or call Jeremy at 619-885-8188 before delivery. And that would um, allow the carrier to maybe be a little bit more proactive. Um, generally, you should probably just check the box before booking the shipment so that it's all rated correctly. But sometimes you can get away with um, having delivery marks or if there's gate code or anything of that nature, you would want to input it here. Um, from there, you click on the terms and conditions and you book the load. This now pushes it into the queue and auto either auto dispatches it or my team will finalize it on the back end of our software. Um, it also generates all your shipping uh, documentation and allows you to print both shipping labels and different sizes uh, as well as either printing or sending the bill of lading. Um, to anybody you like, let's say you're drop shipping from a remote warehouse, you might want to send it multiple emails in here, include shipping labels, include an HTML file, all depends on your particular process. And then I would always review the bill of lading again, just to make sure that it's accurate. Um, if for any reason you made a mistake, um, you just email our team and ask um, if we can modify anything. Like let's say it's you forgot it's a residential address or it's a home-based business and we should have included a residential address or a lift gate or anything you want. Um, we can modify these before we dispatch them out um, if we catch them in time. If it goes out a little too soon, um, most of this training is just designed to be proactive so that um, we're getting less adjustments 
on the back end, which keeps you happy and my team happy, honestly, because we're doing all the the rebuild uh, disputes. So it's it's kind of a waste of our time to be disputing all these small things if we can catch them on the front end. And we're reviewing your orders as they go out too, but you know nobody's perfect. So please help us be as specific as you can. And honestly, be a little bit more, if you can be just a little bit more um, firm with your clients as far as where you're delivering to. Is it a proper business with a dock high? Do they have a forklift or is it a home-based business? You know, do they need a lift gate? Do they really need an appointment or are they all there all day uh, like a traditional bigger business would be? All these things can avoid wasted time and headaches on the back end. Um, from there, you're, you're basically good to go. You can go back in a new LTL quote or check it out on the home screen and you'll see that we did in fact dispatch that and I need to cancel that because that's on my customer's account. But um, yeah, that's the basics of it. If you needed to go into anything over 12 linear feet, you could jump into uh, truckload or you could email truckload at easy logistics management and give us all the details. And uh, we're handling all our truckload operations now through DAT, which is a nationwide platform. Uh, and we have a lot more flexibility of what we can and can't do as far as like multi-stop truckloads or uh, commingle truckloads. If you want to save money and you have some friends in the business where you could put, you know, five or 10 pallets each on a truck, you can get the price way down. <clears throat> but this allows you to, I mean, if you did, you can push it through the tool this way. Um, let's say it's, I think you're, you're going from Tualatin, Oregon, Oregon. It doesn't auto populate on here. Let's just, just do something easy. From here to Denver, Colorado again. Oops. No, don't want to make this too lengthy for you guys. If it's going into Mexico, uh, defaults to US and Canada, so we can ship US to Canada, Canada to US, US to Mexico. Uh, but we can, if it's going into Mexico, obviously you want to, would want to toggle that. But let's uh, let's stick with Denver in this example. And then if you needed a, a multi-stop, you could click this and add a stop. Um, geez, lost it. Uh, Oregon, doesn't really matter. It's just an example. Denver, <clears throat> Colorado. Um, and obviously whether it's a full truck or a partial truck, if it's a partial truck, we just need to know how many linear feet, um, the shipment value so that we make sure we have enough insurance on your loads. Generally it defaults to 100,000, but please put it in just so we can be specific. Do you need any, is it going to a trade show? Do you need a pallet exchange? Um, do you need straps, drop trailer? Any as particular as you can be, it helps us. <clears throat> in this case it's flooring. Let's say it's, this is the number of pieces. Let's say it's 1,200 boxes. It's 12 pallets. Um, I'm just kind of making this up. It's 15,000 pounds. <clears throat> and then the total dimensions. Try and be as specific as you can. I mean, maybe even pallet by pallet if it's different. And then give the total weight of each pallet and it'll add it up correctly. And then if you have any additional notes, um, you would just input them here, you know. Looking for best rate. Need to ship this next week. Please advise. This is a demo or a video. Sure. Just so my team doesn't actually go and write this. Uh, and then your contact email, whatever that would be. Um, in this case, I'm going to modify this so my client isn't notified. Easy logistics. Come and then submit the quote. That's the majority of it. If you do delve into air freight, we have this air freight module that works pretty well. Um, I can automate that process as well. A lot of our clients don't ship air freight, but we can automate that process as well. 
Um, the other things, I mean, we have a lot of reporting that you could look at if you're if you need shipping analysis or KPIs. Um, you would just jump into here. This can be fully customized, and you can drop in other other attributes and reorganize these any ways you want. As far as the financials, um, you can export this, create many statements, pay online. Um, there are a variety of things you can do. You can choose which ones you want, email them, print them, download them into PDF, CSV, or Excel. Uh, if you needed an aging report, oh, I need to talk to these guys. If you needed a credit report, um, you know, it's all pretty much at your fingertips. Um, you know, if you need more information about your shipments that are in process, KPIs, pay online, do you want to clear your account immediately? Um, you would hit here and choose which bills you want to pay and then input your information there. Addresses, you can upload them in a CSV or an Excel file if you want. Um, here's the format. Um, but as you're adding them into your account, they are caching in the system, so one by one. But this is an easy, easy way to, if you had a bunch of addresses, you could reformat them on Excel and upload them in one shot so that it's easier for you. You don't have to input them. As far as adding products, um, these guys only ship hardwood flooring, but you would just hit add product, put in the information, the freight class, as much detail as you want, so that each time you're um, getting into the rating section, it's a drop down menu and it makes it super easy. And then any other documentation as far as like a uh, certificate of origin, if you're shipping into Canada or Mexico, uh, if you want to clear your account, and then defining roles, uh, product lists, things of that nature, um, you would just go into here and uh, you can add employees, you can add uh, what they can and can't see. Uh, default tracking for each particular person. I would probably go with default uh, detailed initially, but we, sometimes we set them up a little bit differently just so that everybody's in the loop and the software is doing its job uh, as best as possible, just so that, you know, less busy work on your end. As always, all these tools can be API automated into your e-commerce site, ERP business software, accounting software, uh, WMS software. We even have an open API that can basically be connected to anything that can connect via API. Um, and then again, here your, here's your drop down menu if you're going in to do more quotes. Um, <clears throat> I probably ought to hop off. I need to cancel these shipments since this is a live account. But hopefully, this was useful and helps you better understand how our software works uh, so that it's less frustrating and you understand. Um, basically from here, the only the thing I would say is if you have any questions, comments, or you need something tracked or traced, or you don't know exactly what to do, email our team. They're always available for you at service at easylogisticsmanagement.com or 866-854-5341, extension three, and that'll put you in queue for Francis Rapp and the rest of our team uh, that are available, basically seven to five at least every day for whatever you need. Um, and always, if you want us to book the loads, we do offer more of a concierge service where you can just push the information to us. We'll quote it and book it for you and dispatch it. But honestly, the software is super easy. It can be connected to anything. Um, you know. But other than that, let us know. And the rest is on the back end for us. You push the orders into the system. We dispatch them. We, we, we relay the information back to you. If there's any nuances, we'll generally call you or email you. And if your loads, for some reason, aren't able to be picked up the same day, we will email you immediately in the morning and just say this has been rolled for pickup for today and notify you exactly what's going on so that you're in the loop. Um, you know, we're, uh, it's my company. We're looking to grow, and we'd be honored to work with you more this year. So hopefully this looks awesome, and uh, let us get to work for you. All right. Have a good day.